Welcome back to building a WordPress theme with Tailwind. Today we're going to focus on styling up the posts on our homepage. Now to start off, I've gone ahead and deleted all the posts out of my development version here. We're going to use a Lorem Ipsum API to generate some fake posts with five paragraphs. So let's go ahead and do that with WP command line. So what we can do is we can take this URL I'm using here and I can say curl, paste that in there, and that'll give us the same thing we just saw. So now what we can do is we can pipe this into WP post generate, and we want the post content to be taken from what's piped in here. We want the post author to be my username, and the count to be, let's do 10. All right, let's check it out. And there we go. We have 10 posts with uh, Lorem Ipsum. Let's jump over to PHP Storm and let's begin on styling these post sections. Uh, so we'll go into our theme folder here and open up index, just like we were looking at last episode. Uh, so we have our loop here that loops over all of our posts and it just prints out the content using this template parts content. So let's go grab that file real quick template parts content. Now this content page here is used for both showing all the posts as well as showing a single post. Uh, so we'll need to take that into consideration a little bit here, um, but we'll focus on coming back to a single post later. So to start we have a header section. Um, if we're looking at a single post we have an h1 tag uh, with the title, otherwise we have an h2 tag with the title. Uh, so since we're looking at a list of posts, um, we're going to be looking at this section here. So single post here, multiple posts down here. Let's go ahead and add a uh, margin bottom here. All right, that'll space it out nicely. Um, next thing, we'll probably want to add some spacing below this posted on date and by right there. So let's see here, here's the posted on section. So we have a wrapper around that. We can just add a margin bottom, maybe four on this one to give more space between the content. All right. And now let's also add some space down here between the end of the content and the category leave a comment edit section here. Let's see here, we have the content and we have our footer. Uh, so let's just do a margin top of 4 and a margin bottom of 8. So that'll give us space above here and between each post. There we go. Now before we go much further, I want to go and let's look at one of our posts here. Let's look at post 11. Um, let's add some tags here. 1, 2, 3. Let's also add a featured image. So let's... Uh, Let's upload a file here. I'm going to upload my thumbnail I use on YouTube. Set that as a featured image. Update it. And let's go back to our home page. So a couple things to notice. Uh, one is this bottom statement is pretty crowded. We've got the posted, the tag, the comment, edit. Um, and also our thumbnail is not here. Uh, let's focus on this bottom section first. Um, for starters, uh, I don't want to show the tags unless we're actually looking at the individual posts, like on this page. So let's go take a look at that. So we have our footer, um, and it's calling this Tailwind Theme Entry Footer, and this is something that was generated with underscores. Uh, this is going to be found in the Tailwind Theme Inc. template tags. So right, right in here, template tags.php. So we have our entry footer. So if we have a post, we get the categories, we print them out. Um, here we are saying, let's get the tag list and print that out. Uh, but what we really want to do is we only want to do that if it is single, right? So if it's single and we have a tag list, we'll print that out. All right, the tag list is gone there. If we go to individual posts, the tags are back. So that's good. Next, let's spread these out a bit, and like always, we'll use our uh, trusty 
flex box here. So we can do flex. Um, and let's do justify between. There we go. So these are all spread out. So we have the posted and uncategorized. Leave a comment and edit. Um, if we open this up in incognito, we can see that the edit will no longer be there and our leave a comment will be on the right. Now we also have a lot of content in here. If we had a large post, we don't want to put everything in this front page here. We just want to see an excerpt. So let's go back to our content. Um, right here in our entry content section, we are displaying the full content. Now would be fine if we're looking at a single post, um, but we really don't want that for the home page. So let's change this. Let's say, let's just comment this out for now. And instead, we'll just do the excerpt. Refresh that. There we go. Now we just have a short excerpt from each post. Now let's go back to looking at that featured image. Um, I'd like to put the image on the left side with the post on the right. Um, so let's go look at that. Currently, we don't have the thumbnail at all. So let's take a look here. We've got our excerpt here. Let's just drop in here and put in the post thumbnail. And we'll start with a thumbnail size image. See how that looks. Okay, I'd like it to be a little bit bigger so we can see the full image. So let's go to medium. All right, great. Um, now to put them side by side, we'll just use Flexbox. So let's go up here, type flex, and make that smaller for now. All right, that looks good. Um, now the image itself needs to have some classes to push this to the right. So we can go in here to the post thumbnail and pass some arguments. We're going to pass class, let's say margin right 4. Awesome. Now we can't ignore the mobile view. So let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, as we get smaller, this gets really squished. Uh, it looks pretty bad. Um, so we'll just do the same trick we did in the header. We'll do flex column. And once we get to medium, we'll do flex row. Let's refresh. All right, so that works down here on the smaller screens. So maybe medium is not big enough. Let's change this to large. There we go. And as we go out, it'll pop to the side. Great. Um, now we only want that margin right on the smaller screens. So we can let's say here, large margin right zero. Um, let's also center it, so we'll do a margin on the X to auto. There we go. Uh, we'll want margin bottom for here on the mobile. There we go, it spreads it out nicely. Take a look at the larger size. Whoops, I did this wrong. This should be margin right zero. When we get to large, we want margin right of four. All right. Let's look at this again. We have mobile. Um, ah, the problem is uh, we don't need margin right at all since we're using MX Auto here. So let's get rid of that, and everything is centered nicely. Sorry about that. All right. So this looks pretty good on on the mobile, on the tablet, and on a desktop screen. Now maybe we could also center the text here on the smaller screen. So let's go back up to our title. Um, let's do text center. And on large screens, text left. There we go. Post 11. Got our date. Uh-oh. We have two dates here. Now we have two dates here because of, if we look into the posted on, Right now it's showing um, if the published and updated dates are the same, it just has one time class here, or time attribute. Uh, however, if they're different, it puts the published and then the updated at. Um, so for me, I don't really like having the updated time, so I'm just going to remove that. And it puts it together here where it grabs the date and the modified date, so we'll just remember, remove the modified date. 
All right, that looks better. All right, so this is centered on small screens. Looks good. Pops out to the side for desktop. I think we're done for our posts. So we are almost done building our home page for this theme. We've completed our post list. We still need to do our sidebar and footer, and then we'll get moving on to the other pages of our theme. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Yeah.